Hello and welcome to the third River End Lads podcast, or as Rudy says, the River Ends podcast. Oh, <laughs> no, no, I, I no, think no. that's <laughs> enough of that joke. We, yeah. I think we, <laughs> I think we've used that one a bit too many times, and maybe move on to other mistakes, such as other um, mistakes. Norwich City, Norwich City, and any Buendia in particular, which we'll come on to later. Ooh. But of course, we talk about the Watford game, the Watford game, <sighs> which. We were very excited for, I think. You could t- leaving, tell. leaving school, philosophy and ethics, last period, heading down to the train station. We, we were excited. Me and that, that was hype. It was meant to be a mad day, and it turned out to be awful. What are your thoughts on the game then? Going well, I think, firstly, maybe the, the team selection, I'm not really com- going to complain, because I know that Tetty in defence, that's never going to work. We yeah, should maybe play Akin should, Yeah, Akin Fanwo. Tetty shouldn't be playing in defence. Yeah. But it's I mean, okay, firstly, Buendia, first minute of the game, does a quarter turn lose and it's stupid. And then, I think uh, it was a back hero. Whatever it was. That's, that's not the first time though this season, <laughs> is it? He's done it plenty of times. Then they score. And he doesn't know? learn. The thing is, in that whole game, I never felt like we were going to score, even when they had 10 men. So, 10 men against the worst team in the league. We played better didn't when they had 11 men, yeah, didn't I, think, yeah. I forget we, they had 10 men. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, Ono Hernandez had a chance, Ben Foster did do well, well but... One on one in the first half, he scored. probably should have scored that one. I still think he, he, he was He was mad the whole game. We had a nice conversation. Yeah, yeah. us and Ben Foster. If you watch the match, the day, nice match day experience, you'll watch that. You'll see that. The shame you get that was, he, he was saying what a cracking game it was, end to end. It was a very good game, but it just didn't go away, did it? Unfortunately, unfortunately not. But um, another two 0 defeat. Oh, so many this times. time at home, not looking like scoring a goal. I've seen too many two two defeats. Too many two nils. West Ham, Burnley, Palace, Brighton. It's too many. We're not scoring enough goals. Well, we're not defending it, very well. Uh, I've said this for a few weeks now. If Norwich concede first, we lose the game. Yeah, and that has been the case the whole season. Because I, I don't know what... Last year, we were fine. We concede first and we'd just score another, another two. Well, like to the like, 70th minute and do it. But we, we 70th minute and equalise it. And then Pookie last minute, like he did against Millwall or something what a crazy game. like that. What a game, though. Um, that was a year ago yesterday. A year ago. Maybe the Watford game should have been more like the Millwall game, but it wasn't. Yeah, well, yeah, so, sometimes games are like that, aren't they? Um, and I just want to add, Pookie in the first half had oh. a couple of good chances. He just. He's poor. He didn't fluff him, but he didn't hit him as hard as he possibly mm. could have done. I don't get that. Maybe I that's mean, a lack of confidence. I mean, you're a striker, Joel, so would you just smash it as hard as you could? Yeah, you would. Actually, no, sometimes you play shots. Depends. Actually. I think as when, you, when you're a striker, you come whatever, whatever comes in your mind, you do it first. You don't have time to think. You do what comes to your instinct. And that's why Pookie's such a good striker, because. He doesn't think he just finishes, and that, that's what he did last season, that's what he did well. So it, it did surprise me a little to see him tap it at the keeper, almost. Yeah, the half yeah. volley. As many call and, the P-roller. Yeah. Right at the keeper. But about six hours ago, all he had to do was smash it, in, if and it, it was if, probably going to go If that in. was me, I would have hit it as hard as possible. It could have gone like into row Z, or... At least you tried, though. Or it could have... Um, but when, yeah, when you hit it that lightly, you're, you're not really you're not, the keeper, you're not beat yeah. Ben Foster's uh, class, well, class keeper, keeper. Yeah. and you're not beating him from there with a, a slight. I mean, even with a great shot, that would be take something to beat him from that angle. I mean, but still, who, who was was it? Kenny McLean had a good shot, like a that was a good header, but again, twenty yard shot. Yeah, no, oh, the, the twenty yard shot. Yeah. that was that was a really good save. That was a good shot. And Wendy also with another good chance from Hernandez's oh, layoff in the first half. Oh. That went miles over the bar. Very frustrating. That, that will come. I mean, we, if, if we get in them positions, we'll start scoring. Mm-hmm. That's what happened last season, wasn't it? That's yeah. start of last season. Although we, yeah, we well, it's longer. been a bit different than last season. But I mean, it's not too late. I mean, it's really horrible form we're in, but we can still get back. So. But attacking-wise, we've, we're had really no, we've had no attacking injuries, really. Something has changed in the squad. But we've yeah, what scoring is goals. You Zimmerman? can't... Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the lack of a leader out on the pitch like Zimmerman. Yeah. Well, Grant Hanley's injured. He's like Grant Hanley is injured. Me. Yeah. I mean, we actually played better with Grant Hanley, so... that That's quite surprising. Did he in game week one? You're a field squad. No, I had him on the bench. <laughs> and then he came in. <laughs> Someone got injured, <laughs> and then he came in for minus two points. Yeah, yeah. it's Tessie... Is, is he really a leader, especially at centre back? Not at centre back. I, I, I wouldn't say he's a leader there. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I think you said it to me in the game. Tessie's strongest game is off the ball. He doesn't look as comfortable yeah. on the on ball. The ball. Back, <laughs> I'm I'm His touch yeah. is a bit scary. I mean, I love Tessie, but 
He's Maybe is he losing it? Is is it? I think he is. He is has this been, season his time to retire. Last season mm. he definitely lost it, and then he was replaced by Moritz Leitner, I think, or Tom Tribal. And then this season is his last. I think he said that it's going to be his last. Mm. His time has come, I think. And maybe I can find where you know, someone younger could, could replace him in the know, starting I don't know what's going on there. There must be something. Must well, be a bit like Roberts. He's an actual centre. Oh, I don't know. And something's stopping him and from coming in. And that brings us on to Daniel Farker. I mean, I oh. never... If you'd asked me at the start of the season <laughs> if I ever thought that the manager's career would be in question at Norwich, Daniel Farker at Norwich, I would have said, no way. And I also would have said, even if we get relegated, we keep him. I would have said that. I think you would have said that too. I right? would have said that, yeah. Yeah. But has that changed? Has that opinion yeah, changed? changed slightly for me. I love Daniel really? Farker. He's a great guy. He's a great tactician, but is he a good manager during the game? That's what I've been questioning. His substitutions have been a problem in his two and a half years at the club, definitely. Leaving him to like that 70th minute, even when we're 2 0 down. Not too big a problem, though, because we did win the league. We, so. we did win the league. But his yeah, reluctance to change way. tactics and formation. I mean, he has you know, changed the formation slightly in games, but mm. hasn't changed the tactics. You know, we just we keep on playing out from the back and just keep in possession, but it's not creating enough chances to score goals. It doesn't work. And either. I don't know why he isn't changing it. I mean, Stephen Miller said a camp all this week. That, that was a bit. Camel should have started the game oh, over Stephen. I like Stephen. I don't know why you and like all, Stephen. Uh, it's hard for us to judge. He sees, he sees the players in the training. Yeah, so we can't really judge completely. Exactly. We can only see what we see on the pitch. But Stephen he... hasn't anything on the pitch this season. No. Mm. He had one chance, well, I remember, in he, the first half. He was one of the... One Last of the... season he would tucked it away, but he didn't this time. Well, he was one of the better players on that pitch. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. He was actually one of the better players. and I think that um, Farker, he just needs to change something. Because when we play out from the back teams just press us high and it's always we're building for like minutes on end and then they just win the ball back and, and we've got like four players yeah, back and, and, they, and they score it's most of the time teams, teams have figured us out but teams, teams have figured us out if you were Daniel Farker yeah. though, what would you do? change it maybe long but that's what Alex um, Neal did and it just sent us straight down we've got to be clever yeah, but I don't know maybe it's because of the injuries especially in defence that our that our formation and tactics aren't working but we aren't creating enough chances. So the question them. is, do you want Daniel Farker out? I, I don't want Farker out. I want him to change things. Really? He's got to be more adaptable in games. I, I very. He's not going to change formations. I, I don't care about the formations. No, I want to change play. the players yeah, in no, the formation. Because Teddy's not a centre-back. And he's been a liability in his, what, six, seven years at the club. By making mistakes. Not all his time. And he was at fault, in my, in my opinion, for the second goal. Mm. Trying to absolutely just destroy <laughs> De Fay with that scissor challenge on the edge of the box. That's not a defender's challenge. If he had just stood his ground, the cross would never have came in and they wouldn't score the second goal. It was a bit goal. of a fluky finish though, wasn't it? It no, was very no, fluky. It, it was a brilliant finish from the back no, heel. Not really. It was, well, no, so it was deliberate, so it, it was was actually, deliberate. wasn't fluky. But it did it come just... off Jamal Lewis, didn't it? Uh, it's slightly deflected. But it maybe Jamal Lewis anyway. had a I did more say in front of him trying to stop it. Come on, he's he's cool. Yeah, he's that sort of player. He's a good player. Physical, wins the ball in the air. He's that's the sort of player we need. And I think that's why Farker brought on Drimic, which I understood that. I mean, Drimic, Drimic is playing better player. than... Well, no, actually, no, I can't really say that, actually. No. Say I've, I've been thinking no, maybe no. drop Pookie. Are you the same? No, no. Maybe, maybe not seen... drop Pookie, but what? play two up front, Pookie and Drimic. 4 That's changing for me, formation, though. Come on, 4-4-2. Yeah, Pookie's maybe. not creating anything. He needs... In my opinion... Pookie's coming up wide far too often, leaving no one in the box. That's why... <laughs> it's not Pookie's fault. It's not Pookie's fault, no. but it's if we had a formation where we had two up him? front, uh, and then one could go out wide, such as Pookie, and then leave Dermot. We in the don't middle. need to change anything. We need to, we need to wait for the injuries to come back. We yeah, but to, too late by then. It's too late. late. It's way it's too late. Not. We need to change something. Zimmerman, he should be fit after the international break. Okay, that okay, that's fine. If Zimmerman right. comes back, but if he gets injured again, which could easily happen, if Pookie can get injured this international break, if Campbell, Aaron's Godfrey for England under twenty ones, if they're playing a game. You know, it, the injuries will keep on coming because we're unlucky. And that's why we need to adapt to the, to the injuries and change something. So you don't think Farker should be out, lose his job? we we got to keep Farker. I love the man. But I don't think he's a good enough manager yet. He's got to learn his trades in the Premier League. And he's, he's got he's got to make risks. And he isn't doing that at the well, moment. Sean, Sean Dyche at Burnley, they got relegated. They kept him. Yeah. And they came did, back Did up. they go straight back up? Yeah, yeah they did. They, they, they won the league. They straight back up. Like and now, now they're a, a solid Premier League team. Yeah, but I don't really want to follow that kind of thing. Because Norwich City, 
if we go down, we would have been the most the team has gone down, being relegated from the Premier League. So we've always had a history of not really staying, well, we have stayed up long in previous seasons, but I mean, I'm not sure the same thing would happen. We could, I'm looking at Fulham now, I know they've got like amazing players on their team, they've but they're a, sitting like sit. I know they've got a great team, but there's no guarantee they're going to go straight Yeah, they're off. playing beautiful football, keeping like 70% possessional games, but then they're losing to like Nottingham Forest. Yeah, same with us. So we that could easily happen Our to team us. is good enough to win the championship, but it won't do if we get relegated and we'll struggle to get back up. We yeah. will get back up, I reckon, but it will probably take like two or three seasons. Like it did last time we got relegated, it took three seasons to get back up. Mm. And I don't think we can wait that long with a team, because everyone's just going to get sold. Well, we'd have to change the team. Well, let's, yeah, let's, uh, let's leave the depressing misery of Norwich City. Um, well, it's still Norwich City, what? but <laughs> let's talk kits, Josh. What about Wendy though? When they, we talked to him, he gave the ball away, he made one mistake, yeah. it cost us the game. Well, two mistakes, really he gave it away for the second one, Did he? about 20 seconds before the goal went in. He's, he's been quite he, poor. He's been poor. I don't know what Patrick Roberts is doing, I know he's on holiday somewhere, nice sunny country. Same as Wendy. But Roberts should be working hard to get into that team, because that position is, is his for taking now, I think. But whether he wants to work hard, and get, and maybe that's why Daniel Farker isn't putting him in. Because his work ethic isn't right. Mm -hmm. Maybe like Marcus Edwards. But Buendia isn't good enough yeah, at another, the moment. Another one of Stuart ever signed. He's done, done too much. Stuart ever signed, didn't you? I think he did, yeah. That was his first season. Yeah. But that, that wasn't Weber's fault. That was Marcus Edwards not having the great attitude. Plays for Victoria. Yeah. And now he's playing in the Europa League, so he's a decently bad. I guess he's alright. He's yeah. not okay from that. As I said, shirts. Shirts. Well, I've got the 1718 home kit signed by the majority of the team. Got Harrison Reed on the back. What a player. <laughs> Harrison Reed. He's not at Blackburn, isn't he? I, I think, think he is. So. He like yeah, he was a great player good. for us. He scored. It was against QPR, wasn't he? he? Scored a banger. That's why he's not a Blackburn anymore. Was it? Is he not? No. Did maybe he maybe not. I don't know. He at Derby. No. Yeah, I I don't know. He's gone to many clubs. Yeah. Know, but, but his goal on like his home debut against QPR, yeah, I, I think it was. That, was, that was a banger. And he, yeah, great player for the club. What was your we shirt? had a what was your we shirt had a, then. Um, I think is this 2015. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. I think is that 2015 away. Is that the away or the third kit? I think that's away. the third kit. No, it is definitely away. Okay. okay. All the kits look the same that season. So that's the one with the square box, isn't it? The square box, <laughs> the Aviva box, like the most dreadful <sighs> bit of any kit in history. I didn't mind it that bad, to be honest. On the home kit, it was awful. It doesn't yeah. look so bad on that one. It's alright on this one. But on the home kit, that was dreadful. Mhm. Mm Rudy, well, I don't have that many shirts to be fair. I, I don't have that much money. So, so you're, so, <laughs> yeah. so you're wearing your shirt again. Yeah, well, which you wore in the first. Obviously, one. I don't have that much shirts. So, well, got, maybe with the, shirt, maybe the future season. challenge, which we've been thinking of adding for one of the one of the podcasts. Uh, no, maybe <laughs> you know, get a few more shirts to add to our collection. Very I don't cheap. Know, maybe we'll have to it see. Just depends mm -hmm. how cheap they are on the charity shop. They are not too bad actually. So is it ones. England now international break? Well, we've said we don't want particular players to be injured, such as Timo Pukki. Timo Pukki, which I wouldn't actually. Look, it'll be interesting if Dermich did come in. So I'd be very annoyed if he gets injured, but it'll be just be. It'd be interesting, interesting for Dermich. Give him a chance, but obviously he could get injured this international break as well. I mean, so I think it, oh, wait. oh yeah, I think it's yeah. safe to say everyone hates international break. No, Espe I like especially when you've games. lost the game beforehand. It's just two weeks of misery. <laughs> but I mean, especially England, especially they can. We haven't sealed qualification for the Euros yet, have we? We need one point. One point against we, we, who have we got? Montenegro. Montenegro, easy. Even though Sterling will come through in a minute, <laughs> even though he's not going to play, but we're going to beat Montenegro. Rash aren't we? Rashford and Sancho on the wings. Uh, yeah, I would put Tammy Abraham up top though. He's in Abraham. such good form. He's, be, he's better than Kane. He's in better form than Kane, he's he's better better than Kane though. Yeah, Come on. Don't matter. You'd have to play him due to his form. He's scored 10 in like 11 and... Abraham's a quality striker. Come on. No, I'm sorry. Don't forget absolutely. the two and goals. Rashford well. and Ke if If anything, drop Sancho. I don't want that, but he's not been in form recently. He's been, he's, no, he hasn't. But I mean, Rashford and Tammy Abraham are the most in form England players. I'm just saying. Yeah. Rashford, Abraham, and Jaden Sancho. That would be if, a if, mental if team. If Abraham played over Kane, I think he'd miss a pen. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, but Kane misses pens as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He missed one yeah, he in the last England game, didn't he? Or was it against Kosovo? Oh, yeah. yeah, I think it was Kosovo yep. missed a pen. But we did, that wasn't crucial. He only scored the crucial. No, Czech Republic. Or Czech Republic. Yeah, we were winning like... Yeah. No, that was the game we lost 2-1. That was the crucial no, game. No, it wasn't. 
Well, we he did. Miss, he's missed one for Spurs recently as well. Have you? Yeah, I, I say play Tammy Abraham. See no, how it gets on. Not. We're not going to lose on. to Montenegro. We're going to qualify for Hurricane's the Euros. Hurricane's the best striker in the world, in my opinion. So. That might be true, but... Uh, well, but it's not a crucial game. We've got two games. One against Kosovo, yeah. one against Montenegro. Just play Tammy Abraham for one of them. We're going to... We're ne- maybe Kosovo could beat us at Kosovo, because yeah. they're a good side. Yeah, with with side. Montenegro, Easy. we're going to beat him by four or five, no matter who we play. Mm. We could play... Emil Heskey up front and it's all a hat trick against nah, he'll get like Montenegro. <laughs> so. <laughs> Do you want to talk Sterling then? Raheem Sterling. Whoa! I'm not sure if you've, you've read the news, but I'm, I'm sure you have. But Sterling will not play against Montenegro for a bust up in the training ground against Joe Gomez, wasn't it? Yeah. I think Sterling mentioned, or it was Joe Gomez mentioned their Liverpool's win over Man well, City. I saw. I recently saw the thing. Was well, there's a picture of them also at the Man City Liverpool um, game, yeah. pretty much squaring up. Uh, yeah, they had, they had a little scrap on the pitch. Yeah. It's such, it's such a Have big you game. seen? I they just, I think it was Sky Sports has a picture of the injury in Joe Gomez in training for England. He's got like a massive scar across his face from where I don't know Raheem Sterling punched him or whatever. I swear he didn't, did he punch him? He he's, got, he's got a massive scar across his he's face. Got, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen a picture of it. But all, all I tensions are high. Apparently, um, yeah, Joe Gomez was there first and. Raheem Sterling walked into the England room that, and he and Joe Gomez with a few mates laughing. I think he approached him. And I, I think I think he grabbed him by the neck. I didn't hear he punched him, but uh, well, I don't know how else you get a massive scar think, across your face. So. I think I think they um stupid behaviour really. Well, Should have done that. Well, I think um yeah, I've, I've always wondered what goes on behind England because obviously there's so many different players from different yeah. clubs and I don't know why, rivals. I have and, no idea why the Liverpool Man City game was on Sunday. And they report to England duty, what, a day afterwards? One day, yeah. You yeah, know, that's they, always they're going to be angry at each other. And there's there's always going to be a chance of a maybe a fight or a disagreement. Mm. Well, it's Monday. Liverpool's title to lose now, so they have to win it now, in my opinion. Leicester, they can't. Leicester all the way. I mean, Leicester I'd, I'd love Leicester to win it, but I, I can't see them winning it. I can't. I see Liverpool winning this. They, ha- they have to. It'll be a disgrace if they don't pull it out from this position now. But then is it Kosovo, the second England game? Yeah, well, in Kosovo. What would we draw, like 2-2? I, I, I can't see us winning that game. But I can't see Kosovo winning either. I, I think yeah. a draw would be good. Because I'd love Kosovo to get through. I want them to get through. So I, I mean, love their team. Milo Rashiki is a quality player. Is he does he play for Hanover? Um, <laughs> Verder Bremen, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. In the Bundesliga. <laughs> Milo Rashiki. He's, he's, he's a great player. player. Yeah, yeah, she is. And I'm like FIFA 17 yeah. <laughs> And then I turned him into a world, world superstar. You told me to sign with FIFA 17. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. He's a great player. I think, actually, I think my brother's got him on the Brighton career mode. <sighs> no, not the Brighton career mode. Milo Rashiki, what a player. Yeah, I think he's like top goals in the Premier League or something like that. Do you want to... I think... Do you want to continue? What we started last week? What with the ball? Indeed. I have got oh, yeah. my second ball. <laughs> Which I have stolen from Cara Road in my ten years of supporting Norwich. We, this this is the one where we oh. get, we were there together. This one, weren't we? yeah. We us three, Derby. The Dar- class, yeah. Thanks, Derby the, County. The Derby game. <laughs> if, oh no, the lights. Yeah, okay. Oh, the yeah. lights it's lost us that game. Off. It's a bit flat. Yeah, well, but we're not playing. It's got the, anyway. I don't know if you can see that. It's got the DCFC. <laughs> so it, it's clearly a Derby County ball. But I, I can't remember who it was. Me, I think smashed it over the bar. Probably like in my Mason bag. Mount. <laughs> Maybe Mason Back Mount. Back in the day. Yeah. That is a lovely ball. Shame I got it signed because I'd love to play with it. Yeah, we but... went, Rudy was a massive advocate for playing with it, but, but I don't want to get it scratched yeah. like I did with, well, with my other ball. We should be with the problem. We wanted to, we to get it signed. We need yeah. to get another next ball we get. We're gonna play with it. What? It says first on it. Like, I'm guessing that means first team. Yeah. What well, could be like the match ball? What else? The actual match ball that we're gonna use? Could be. Maybe we stole a match ball. I don't know, but it does. It is a. It is an quality. official match well, ball. So. You have to be age fourteen plus to play with it. Jesus. Wow. Well, what if you're thirteen? What about the thirteen-year-old players? Wow. <laughs> My sympathies are with them. <laughs> but yeah, very nice ball. Two balls. But just that was stolen. a pretty bad game to watch. It was a fun we... game. Better than the games I'm watching at the it moment. It was fun when we were, we scored in the eighty-first minute. And when the floodlights went out, everyone was chanting, we're going to win the game or whatever. Was it Pookie in the 81st? Oh, yeah, no. Pookie. Frank Lampard cheated, didn't he? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Okay. I'm sorry, but Kate, th- there was literally one light which went off. So you could actually... Yeah, yeah, that, was, that was our standard. Yeah, there was perfect it's visibility. Perfect visibility. <laughs> yeah. And, and Frank, he decided to stop the game. Frank Lampard knew that he was he, the momentum he'd lost. And he knew that going, going to the changing room, gets players all riled up. 
that they could win the game. Well, it's far we couldn't say much to our players because we just took the lead. I think what so. I actually said when the lights were off, if the, if the game continues, we're going to lose this game because we just lost all our momentum from scoring the goal. Probably, probably one of the angriest, the angriest I've been at Carrow Road when they scored. Oh, was that it third goal? Was it the chip corner? Uh, with Mason? No, no. What's the other guy? Mount. David New? No. Their striker. I don't. don't He's really bad. I, I don't like it. What the guy from Peterborough? Yeah, he came from Peterborough. Jack Marriott. Yeah. Okay. He chips Tim. Oh, the same place Marcus was And he has the audacity to celebrate right in front, front of us. Front of us. Right that in was front so of annoying. Us. Uh, yeah. And then Jordan Rhodes hit the bar like the last seconds of the oh, game. Yeah, we we could have equalised. It was gonna be, oh, that was a mental yeah, game. Yeah, enough about that game. That was not a good game <laughs> to watch. Very sad. Definitely a very... A good game, though. Yeah, for the for the neutral perspective. For the neutrals, but that was heartbreaking. What, you enjoyed that game then, really? Didn't yeah, you? other than the loss. It was a good fun game. It was not a good I'm fun game. I'm not enjoying these 2 0 losses, that's what I hate. It's just nothing to celebrate. Okay, I'd rather I'd, a 4 I'd, 3 than 2 0. Would you? Yeah. You yeah, come, no. Bro. Gold um, front, and you actually score goals. When they, when they score. No, okay. It's heartbreaking when yeah. you can't yeah. score <laughs> against 10 men. <laughs> may, may, maybe you're right, maybe you're right. Of course, one player. What about Everton away? Who Norwich. Uh, Norwich fans especially are very fond of James Madison. James Madison, who he's ripping up Premier League as we all knew he would. And we sold him for twenty million. <laughs> Only twenty million. He's worth sixty. As soon as I I knew he was getting sold, I looked for the price tag, saw twenty million. I was disgusted because I knew he was worth more. Now rumours are circling that he's going to go to Man United for sixty million pounds. I reckon if they win the Premier League, he's never leaving Man United. No, no, he's never I, I, leaving, but I, why couldn't we? Why would you go to Man United with Leicester? I'm sorry. You're right, actually, Leicester are a better team. So, but better obviously, team, better England are playing twice in the next week. He, he's, he's, in he's, he's in the squad. He's in the squad. Oh, okay, good. But he still but hasn't made his debut. Rudy's favourite, Ross Barkley. No, no, he, he, he should start because Ross he hasn't played the last couple games. No, no, I'm going to... never plays for Chelsea, does he? No. He hasn't played for Chelsea. Chelsea. Sitch and um, Hudson and Mason. So Brown. he shouldn't start. But I mean, Ross Barkley's England form, you can't deny it's really good. It is really good. But turns Madison plays. is ten times a player that Ross Barkley yeah, is. Yeah, so he should start. Madison, Madison, should, Madison start. should be getting in the squad mm -hmm. and the team very easily. I mean, in an ideal world, I would have Harry Kane... Tammy Abraham, Jaden Sancho, and Marcus Rashford all playing. Some oh, just, put every, just put everyone up front, really. No, four four <laughs> two. That will work. Go four four two. Abraham, you can have Kane, Abraham, and Sancho, Sancho on the left, Sterling on the right. Obviously not for the Montenegro game. Madison and Henderson in the midfield. Yeah, that would be a Southgate doesn't like changing his formation. And he, no, he's he always going to play Declan no, Rice. I isn't swear he's. Oh, I swear he always changes. Come his on, formation. Declan Rice is a little overhyped. Just going to point it out. <laughs> Sorry, no, West Ham he's, he's, he's the best player in the world. Declan Rice is the dictionary definition of average. He's, he's a good player, special. but that's it. I've watched him live. He's nothing special. Yeah, exactly what I thought. So um, yeah, definitely. So he, he doesn't start. deserve his place at all. Henderson. Tyra Mings the best. Hen Henderson's over. class. I like him a lot. He got a lot of slate a few years. Henderson is my no, favourite Premier really League good player, player. player really? in the Premier League, apart from Norwich players. Now he but always turns up. I've watched his performance against Man City, and he's just such a quality player. Well, that, just that cross right. he booked in for Mane's header. <laughs> No, for a defensive midfield, that's pretty good, isn't it? And did you see um, that goal against Spurs as well? Uh, on the volley, when it came over, he had to win the game. Which well, one was to that? To equalise, uh, when they beat Spurs 2-1. They had so I many shots. I don't remember that one. Uh, it was like two weeks ago. It was a great goal. He like, just got towed to it and managed to direct mm. it into the corner. Let's leave England behind then. What about the Everton away, though? Got to think about talk about Everton away a bit later on, yeah. when we get to the Premier League. Stuff. Premier League. All right. Do you want to do FPL now? Yeah. So I got 58 points, which was 10 points above the average. And um, you still managed to drop an overall? Uh, I still somehow. managed to drop about 40,000 overall. Where are you on overall now? About 220. Okay. So which isn't was, bad. But I was 180, but... That's a decent score. Yeah, obviously, everyone right. ahead of me got like 90... I know a lot of people got 90 points plus, which is a bit of a joke. My differential option didn't pay off. The Andrew Trossard, I thought... He would deliver against Man United, and I think he would have, but he only played 59 minutes, which right. I really annoyed at, because he's obviously competing for a spot with Pascal Gross. Um, Captain Harry Kane. So I'll, <sighs> I'll, I'll leave we're gonna. There. I think most people know who I captain, but I'll leave that as a layer. That wasn't um, a wise Soy, move. Soy and Who doesn't love Soy and Chew? Well, well, you were hating on him earlier, but yeah. You were. When? when? You, you didn't like him at the start of the season. Saying he was overrated. Soy and Chew's overrated. I think he's talking about... Thinking I'm talking about Maguire. No, you're definitely no, no, talking about Sanchez. Yeah, How was Sanchez over here? No, you, this is what you said. No, I never said. No, you didn't. Just like you were slating Pulisic. 
Yeah, but per six, he's overrated. <laughs> he's oh, overrated, but he's these. a good player. He's a good player per six. Yeah, he is a good player. He wouldn't be a professional footballer if he wasn't a good player. But yeah, but he's you, overrated. You know, Marco Steepman is a professional footballer. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Lynch None Trump. of that. Lynch Tram 2.0. Look, he was really lucky. He hit the bar. Did he? Yep. Um, he played really well, actually. Robertson, decent. He scored. Although I've got... For some reason, oh, I've got... got for Saturday's goal, sorry. I've got an uh, orange arrow next to him. Yeah, that's Did he get a knock, yeah. He'll play, though. He's got yeah. a special Is that Summer? Robertson? Yeah. 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 What, what if he plays for Scotland and he gets injured? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he probably won't play Now, they'll probably play John McGinn instead. Or Kenny what? McLean. At left back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> Rethinking the FIFA mobile. Lads, oh, I yeah. forgot that. I can't play anyone anywhere. <laughs> Madison delivers again. I mean, who doesn't love James Madison? Not, well, class not player, one class single player. Norwich fan doesn't love James Madison. He still loves the club. What a man. To so can't wait till he scores twice. De Bruyne, yeah, he's going to get, he's going to get score free. De Bruyne got two points for me. Salah, I held on to him and that's paid off. Just about. Abraham, I've had him for a while now. Of good, course. good player. And uh, can we? I was going to really talk about the third one. <laughs> Pookie up top. I've, I've gone far he's enough lost now. I'm, he's I'm, lost it. Pookie Park no, is gone. No, the Pookie Park is still on. Oh, 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 well, stop it. He's stop it. It's stop party, it. But I'm still here. I'm still on the pookie party. I'm on the, I'm on the pookie it, train to the party. It's going to take a while to a come back, time. unfortunately. I mean, me, everyone's me and Josh, over. Me and Josh have been there for a while. It's, it's now only us and a couple of thousand other people. So it's still mm. quite a big party. Yeah. Quite a mad party. It's quite, it's still um, quite, we're all going to celebrate at the party when pookie it's scores a hat trick against Everson mm -hmm. and then maybe five against Arsenal. So, Rudy, do you want to talk about yeah, something? Yeah, go on. Did you beat me this week? Uh, yes. By a long way. <laughs> Yeah, but we go on the team then. What, your team? Do you not know it? Uh, I'm pretty sure I know it. Come on, I, I don't remember who I had. In the uh, Real East Coast FC, there we go. What a team then? <laughs> Rubbish team then. <laughs> Bark life in the Woodlands. Nah, I've no, got 73 sure. points, so I'm climbing up. I had a really poor start to the season. Uh, I've got, I had Ryan in goal. He didn't get a clean sheet, but he made eight saves, so he got seven points. Tamori at the back. Nine points with a great performance. So Yanchu, eight points again. Lundstram blanked for once, but he is, I'll keep him. Mane got seven points because he's a beast. De Bruyne and Sterling, do I really need them anymore? They just keep him blanking, but I'll keep De Bruyne. Yeah, so please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tielemans got an assist, I guess, so he got six points. Vardy got 12. Abraham, my captain, so he got 16. So that was good. I've got Mopay, he got two, I'm probably going to get rid of him next week. So, I mean, it was a good week, but I'm climbing up the ranks at last after the right, start. Right, don't even show me my team. All you need to know is I captain Pookie, and that did not go to plan. Alright then, Jordan. Also had Arnold Fernandez, <laughs> and that didn't work either. Who did we say last? We've got to do that like thing where we choose the player that will do well. Oh, yeah. Who, I chose Pookie, I remember that. He I got don't nothing. actually remember what I did. Didn't I choose Vardy? Was that me who chose Vardy? No, Vardy? I chose Vardy. I you, don't... Okay, uh, you chose... Fair play. Didn't you choose Abraham? Yeah, I did yeah. chose it. Okay. So, so, so I'm the only person that so hasn't I, done anything. Wait, how many points did Abraham get? Eight. I cut. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so and eight. how many did Vardy get? Twelve. Twelve. So, so I'm on league. fourteen. So I'm, I got two points. So for I'm on last week. nine because Sterling got one. And I'm on four. I'm in the Quality. lead, then, lads. Okay. Quality. I'm in the lead. Um, we should do. I'll just pick a big player next time, and I'm going to get a hat trick. Do you want to so talk Premier League? Yeah. We've got a while to wait for it, but may as well. Talk. Obviously, start, start just leave out the Premier League predictions. Yeah, okay. just, just, do the Nor just do the Norwich one, I think. Right. Talk Norwich, about the Everton game. Norwich away at Everton. Was well, that two weeks? On uh, oh, yeah, two weeks. Yeah, just just under two weeks of that game. Everton away, not the best side. Sheffield and Villa beat them, didn't they? Yeah. But we can't keep on comparing ourselves to the empty teams because they actually spend I some think, money. And, and, and Sheffield are. And I think I'm going to put Richards in this week. <laughs> good yeah, choice. Good choice. Any player who's playing at any Norris, player put them in your Dennis team. Dennis put them in. Trossard, put them in. And they're going to score against us. Because Abraham, put As long as Teddy plays at the back, we can't defend. <laughs> I reckon we're going to... Moist Keane's going to score his first Fish goal. First. He's going to absolutely Josh, murder our defence. I reckon we're going to lose 3-2. Moist Keane's going to score in the last minute. I say 3-1. We're going to go 1-0 up. Everyone's going to celebrate what? and then we're just going to lose. How, how did Everton get Moist Was it 30 minutes? Yeah, like 20 minutes I think it was. How did Everton get Moise King? Even though he's not been so good, it's his first season of Premier. He's going to be a beast. He's going to be a mad player. So, he's only 19 or 20? 18, I think. No, no 19. He's, he's 19. such a good player, Moise King. He's, 
and then yeah, Alex, be Tessie, Ben, and Godfrey, be aware and please do your research on Everton Strike. Please, lads. Otherwise, we're going to concede a hat ball, and, and we don't want we don't want another virus. <laughs> They're not in great form at the moment, so and it, it is a way though. Are Everton better at home or not? I can't remember. At we home, could win this game. We could. Oh, sorry, yeah. we could win at this home. game, but I just don't think the players are up for it. If we don't beat Arsenal, the clowns at home, surely we're trash. I can't wait to see. Guna Claude, <laughs> hey, hey, Don Robin, Don you Robin. know, it's going to be great seeing the AFC AF TV boys come to Carrow Road. I, I really want to get on the AFC TV. Do you want to get on the AFC TV? Yeah, I've got to hit him up. Yeah, Guna Claude, Crucial Robbie, if you're listening to this, you're probably not. Of course you're not. But, you know, we'll come to see you when you come to Carrow Road. Yeah, we'll come to see you when you come to Carrow Road. Yeah, we'll come to see you when you come to Carrow Road. Yeah, we'll come to see you when you come to Carrow Road. Yeah, we'll come to see you when you come to Carrow Road. Yeah, we'll come to see you when you come to Carrow Road. Yeah, we'll come to see you when you come to Carrow Road. Yeah, we'll come to see you when you come to Carrow Road. Yeah, we'll come to see you when home game back. Yeah, just nice. tell us tell us where you are around the stadium. There'll be a Josh. Oh, just, away, just away and we'll find them. Just know. look for the huge yeah. crowd. He, he's a big man, Don Robbie. We love him, <laughs> so we'll be able to. We find love him indeed, don't we? It, to be fair, I love AFTV. They're they're a good channel. We don't really watch them. Don't no, really I, I don't really so support good. Arsenal. No, it's it's actually really good. It's only a good channel when they lose. It's just so funny. <laughs> yeah. to listen to no, no, no. Okay, that's not. I I I don't know. I mean, TNC is the best. Would you say Arsenal? Would you say Arsenal is your? Second club then, Rudy? No, you wouldn't. Mill was your second club, Rudy. Yeah, but that's because I was, I was born in London, so... Mill. I mean, you should have supported Mill if you moved to Norfolk. Yeah, but that was like when I was a, a long, long time ago, so... Yeah. I, I imagine, guess... Imagine supporting Mill. I would oh, hate to support them. I mean, terrible. Apologies to any Millwall fans, but... I, I don't know. My yeah. second club... Well, I don't really have one, but I've been seeing Orlando City game when I went to Florida... I mean, they keep just years ago. it, Josh. You know, I got got Orlando City shirt. Like, uh, yes. Yeah, they finished like bottom of the Eastern Conference, so they're, not, they're nothing special. Uh, okay. <laughs> but just to let you know, we're not plastic fans. We just have soft spots for other other clubs, as we like to call it. I mean, how, half the lads who don't turn up to games, you know, well, we we always there. So yeah, well, well do, you want, do you want to talk the predictions of England? We'll go back to England. Do you want yeah. To that? Predictions for England. Then we'll do predictions for Norwich. I think. Okay. So England have got Montenegro. When's that? Is it this week? Thursday? Can't wait Thursday. to watch that. That's Thursday night sorted out. Is it on ITV? Yeah. Of nice. course. <laughs> Sweet Symphony. Yeah. Yes, can't oh. wait for that. <laughs> no. Everyone loves it when that plays. Uh, are we, yeah, we're at home, aren't we? Because it's... Yeah, you know, what, you know, game, you know so. what the best thing was? Brazil. That no, movie. not that. Oh, I'm not even going to sing that. Uh, everyone knows what you're talking Brazil. about. Brazil. Like <laughs> that, that was the best theme tune ever. Especially that in the Every advert one. break, that, that just came on. And I, I, Wix. Yeah. That was my first what one. What are your score predictions for the Montenegro game? Mm, 5-1 England. Good choice. 2-0 uh, England. Uh, I think Southgate's going to play a lot of the fringe players, like maybe Fakayu, Tamori, Joe Gomez. Oh no, I put him in. Um, I want to see Fakayu. We're not, we're not going to play our best, but we're going to scrape the win, obviously. I reckon we'll win 6-0. 6-0. I just, yeah, that'd be good. We'll I would love that. No, I think we might I think without Sterling. Southgate will play Michael Keane at the back. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. play Tara Mings. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know I don't like Tara Mings, but Tomori, he's better. Tomori and oh, Joe actually, Gomez. No. Yeah. Tomori and Joe Tomori, Gomez. Actually, play Tomori. He's better than Tara I'd say Mings. our best centre-back partnership is Tomori and Maguire, but maybe not yeah. play Maguire. He's not in the best of form. <laughs> what about what about Chua at left-back? Yeah, Chua. Yeah, Chua. Obviously. I would say. He's and right-back, though, that's a... Oh, I like Trippier. No, I, I'm sorry. I actually do like Trippier. I think... Walker's He's much better player. Walker's better. Walker's better. Walker's better. Walker's better. Walker's better. But I think Wambi Saka, maybe even Max Aaron's if he ups no, his game. No, no, Max Aaron's. In the, in the future, they could be good right backs. No. And maybe for the Kosovo game, what's your score predictions? 2 0 England. Is that, is that Kosovo? So I th they're going to score. They got three against us last time. They do. Yeah, I reckon. Five, three, four, I'm, I'm saying 2 all. I'm not going to score. I'm going to go. to come get through to the Euros as well. I'm going to change my position. I think it's going to be 4 2. We'll just scrape it off. Yeah, that that would be back. decent. And players don't care. They qualify for the Euros. Do you want to talk Finland though? Finland. I was just about to mention that. Yeah. Obviously, we've got a soft spot for Finland and the Finnish country because not only do they have a pretty cool flag, but <laughs> really? they've got, they've got a great Puki. flag and Timo Puki. They're the playing Blue on Friday Cross. against Liechtenstein, pretty sure. <laughs> At home, seven one. If Finland don't win that game, no, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. But I've got, I've got massive confidence in them. Absolutely, Puki smashing he will, he the will... semi-professional Liechtenstein yeah. team. They're going to get to the Euros. They only need a point, I think, and they're going to get all three. Like Liechtenstein. Yeah, I'm actually they have a hard group. Or yeah, they did actually. They had they had Italy, hard group. Greece, Bosnia. That is a pretty that, tough group. group. But Timo Puki is such a good player. He carried he's, them out he's there. I them. wish he just. 
transfers his form. Wait, his form I, you know what the best part is about Finland winning and Pookie scoring? Seeing him at the Euro 2020, no. that's cool. It's that would be cool, but Euro 2020. After, yeah. the, after the game, finding and listening to the... Uh, Finnish commentary. The Finnish, Finnish commentary is so Pookie, good. Pookie, Pookie, Pookie. I mean, someone just sign him up for BBC Sport. Just come on. That would be so good. Every, Imagine every that. Every him. Him and Chris Gorm. <laughs> so that would be brilliant for another game. down the wing. I mean, we had a few Finnish fans behind us once, didn't we? Yeah. Keppa. <laughs> no. The Finnish fans behind us for the they, Chelsea they game. Great. They, they were great. They were so good. Yeah. I think they left. Like, <laughs> they've left. Yeah. Just Pookie's up a, a little bit of form. He'll, he'll be back. They'll come back. Should, should have come early on the season. Pookie. <laughs> score against Liechtenstein. Get him to the Euros, get absolutely hammered at the bar that night, get back to training, score a hat trick against Everton. That, that's his plan <laughs> for, the next, plan. for the next couple don't of weeks. I don't think Pookie's a drinker. I don't though. really think. I Pookie's think he is. Did I you see I the think... pictures after Wait, the promotion? No, he had so many beers. Did he? No, but come on. Kenny McLean. Kenny McLean. Whoa. Yeah. And Marcus Stephen, they were hammered. They, I remember they, they, on the, they on the balcony. party at the balcony at City Hall. It was like, Vancouver fans were just mental. <laughs> Really Scottish. Scottish, Scottish I, 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 no, I'm not even trying. Really. No, 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 I, I don't want to hear your Scottish accent. That's terrible. <laughs> it's almost as bad as your American accent. Josh did, Josh did a German accent. Have you heard um, last week your American accent, though? It's great. It's, 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 it isn't good. I think we're, kind of, we're kind of losing it. We're running out of things to, to talk about. Yeah. Maybe the Do you want to talk swapsies? Swapsies. Just come a little bit at the end. Really love the swapsies. Yeah, yeah, I love it. There you go. This random bloke. Who was that? Ross Jack. <laughs> Ross Jack, what a player. <laughs> Never even heard of you. <laughs> sorry, Ross Jack. If you're watching this, but, Ross yeah. Jack, I'm sorry. Well, I've got quite That's a lot of swap Cs. I want to get rid of them. No, I want to no, finish no. my album. So if you see us no, a nice kid. in our seats, front row river end for the Arsenal game, behind the goal, and you want to do swap Cs with us, <laughs> always welcome to come over and try and complete your album as well as mine. I've got plenty of swap Cs, including Eddie <laughs> Reamer. I don't know why he's in there, but he's a great assistant manager. So is that all we got to talk about then? Can you like stop throwing us off? <laughs> I actually quite like him. I mean, really hate this. <laughs> this run hold there, that is brilliant. Is that all we got to talk about then? I think so. So just come on, Finland. Come on, lads. Get to the Euros. Come on, Team Mopuki. Come on, Tim Sparv. Come on, Hurricane. <laughs> what the hell? More, you know their name. I know a lot <laughs> of them. More on. importantly, let's beat Everton. Let's beat let's Everton. Let's be having you. We're going to be doing a podcast next week before the Everton game anyway. So <laughs> we'll do a, a proper preview right. Sorry, bro. Tuesday. Sorry. But if England can get to the Euros, same with Finland, and Norwich can beat Everton or get a point from the game, that'll be a brilliant couple of weeks. That'll be good. So thanks for watching. Come on, Finland. Come on, England. Get three points. And more importantly, come on, Norwich. And come on, Norwich. Come on, Norwich. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.